When we talk about Julius Randle, Mike, the relationship between the fans and the star player has always been a, like a side story, especially in New York sports. We see it all the time. But with Randle, I don't think I've ever seen it with a player who's been come in and out of the good graces of fans year by year. He, he first gets here, and, and it's on the heels of Katie and Kyrie choosing Brooklyn, and it's a tumultuous year on the Fisdale. The next year, he's an all-star on the Thibodeau. Last year, 29, statistically looking good, but a lot of in and outs with the fans, a lot of, you know, implosions. And then this year, he's an all-star again. How, how have you seen it with Randall? You know, Casey, I think that's um, that's what I admire most about him is his ability to look in the mirror and say, OK, I need to do things better. You know, for example, you mentioned the first year he was um, I, I'm not going to say he was bad his first year, but he struggled because he had to be the guy and he just didn't play good, efficient basketball. And he knew that after that year that he had to do something different. So he came back like gangbusters and had, in my opinion, one of the great single seasons in franchise history. So now you think, okay, everything's great. He gets the new contract. And last year was a struggle. As you pointed out, his numbers, most players would give anything for those numbers. But again, he wasn't efficient. He wasn't a strong leader. Uh, he had that bad relationship with the fans. And he let the neg negativity get to him and affect his performance. And what does he do? He goes right back and looks in the mirror again and says, hey, listen, I've got to straighten something out. Uh, I've got to be better. And he's come back. And he's also sacrificed because he knows that Jalen Brunson is a big part of what the Knicks are doing. So um, I, I give him so much credit, so much respect, because he's not afraid to say, OK, I have to be better. And uh, this season, he's been phenomenal.